This video contains helpful information on the Mopec 5000 autopsy saw power supply, proper cutting techniques, and blade changing. The Mopec 5000 unit is connected to a portable power supply. If the saw is operating, the green indicator light will turn on with the filtration unit light. The filtration light shows that the power for an autopsy saw vacuum is available. The main power light will light up when your power unit is on. The overload light indicates when your saw unit is overloaded with extra stress. When you're ready to turn on the power supply, make sure to connect the power cord by turning clockwise into the power supply box. It is important to keep your power supply box on a level surface. Do not let it hang over any unsteady surface. Also, remember not to pull or tug the power box by the cord. This can cause the power cable to become frayed or broken. Your Mopec 5000 autopsy saw is designed with an equal distribution of weight. When cutting into an object, hold the saw perpendicular and avoid adding excess pressure. Properly holding the saw will prevent any damage as well as wear and tear to the blades. When troubleshooting or changing the blades on your autopsy saw, make sure your power source is powered off. If you need to disconnect from the power source, remove the cord by twisting counterclockwise. To remove your autopsy blades, you will need to loosen the retaining screw, located in the center of the arbor piece. Make sure to hold the saw perpendicular and with the removal tool, remove the retaining screw. When replacing the blades, make sure the middle of the blade fits against the square drive. Lay the blade flat on the arbor by holding the saw perpendicular. This will prevent the blade from slipping. Replace the clamp by starting the retaining screw into the thread. Using the same tool as before, tighten the blade down. Do not over tighten. Once you meet resistance, give it one small turn until it stops moving. It is important not to strip the screw by using the proper torque application. By applying minimal pressure on the blade, make sure the blade is not loose and makes contact with the clamp. For any further assistance, reference the troubleshooting guide in the manual.